What's good, y'all? Thanks for checking me out today. I got a comic book character origin for you for the comic book character Aquaman. Y'all know we got that movie coming out in a few weeks, so I thought we'd dip into his origins in case you wanted to understand it about who he is. This is your first time tuning in. I try to make this stuff real easy to understand, y'all. I don't go on for 30 minutes. Just a few minutes, I'll let you know everything you need to know about Aquaman. So, Aquaman's real name is Arthur Curry. His dad is Thomas Curry, and his mother is Atlanta. She is from Atlantis, and she is the queen. Well, one day while Thomas Curry was working in his lighthouse, he seen the body wash up on shore. He went over to the body, and it was actually a woman, and she was barely still alive. Well, he helped nurse her back to health, and, you know, over time, the two fell in love. Well, she never really told him anything about her past, you know, about Atlantis or anything like that. She kept it all a secret. A few years later, they had a son, and they named their son Arthur. Well, as a child, Arthur would display weird abilities. For instance, one day he was on a boat with his dad, and they were fishing in the ocean. Well, Arthur hit his head, he fell into the ocean, and sunk to the bottom. His dad jumped in after him, expecting to save his son from drowning, but he found that his son was down there swimming around playing with the turtles. So yeah, it was kind of stunning. Later on in life, um, Arthur's mom, Atlanta, became ill, and she was on her deathbed. That's when she told Thomas and Arthur her secret about she was a queen from Atlantis and that her name is Atlanta and that the reason she was exiled was because the king had become almost a dictator. It was a totalitarian state and she got exiled because she wanted to come to the surface and see what the surface world was like. Well, knowing this, Arthur began training and honing his abilities and his dad even built him an aquarium in the backyard so he could learn how to use his telepathy skills and communicate with the sea creatures. He can learn how to swim better and did all that. So as an adult, Arthur, he returned to Atlantis. There he met with Volko. Volko is a scientist who basically taught Aquaman everything he needed to know about Atlantis. So yeah, after that, it was another character named Aqualad, who is a friend of Aquaman. He ended up beating the king and overthrowing that totalitarian government. After that happened, Aqualad told Aquaman to come back to Atlantis, where he would make him an official citizen. And so he did. After that, Aquaman learned about his true heritage and that he was supposed to be the king of Atlantis. So he took up the throne and he became the king of Atlantis and pre protected it and protected the habitat for all the sea creatures. Now, from time to time, Aquaman, he does leave Atlantis. He comes to the surface and fight uh, a whole horde of bad guys. One of the main bad guys he's fight is a guy named Black Manta, who I also will be doing the origin for. Later on, Aquaman uh, teamed up with Superman, Wonder Woman, Batman, The Flash, Green Lantern to all form the Justice League. Well, that's a quick background and reference for uh, the character Aquaman. You can catch him in his new movie coming out in just a few weeks, y'all. Hope y'all be there to see it. I'm going to go check it out and I'll also do a review on it. But yeah, I hope this helped you understand Aquaman, his background, his powers and abilities is that he has superhuman strength, superhuman speed, superhuman reflexes. His skin is really durable, like bulletproof, so you can't really shoot him or anything like that. But yeah, he's really a badass dude and one of the best, best members of the Justice League. Well, all right then, y'all. I'll catch y'all ass out there in this universe. Peace. But what could be greater than a king? You're